Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. Ferdinand Pateau's masterpiece just reminds me of the most scandalous artwork by Marcel Ducam. A big shout out again to Sincere Fine Watches for allowing me to check out their watches and review them. If you are interested in checking out their timepieces, details are in the description below. This is Ferdinand Pateau's Chronomat FB3SPC.2, a handsome looking timepiece that screams elegance and refinement, hand finished to its finest. The case is cast in 18 karat rose gold, measuring in 42.3mm in diameter and 9.43mm thick. The case has a sandwich design, both polished and matte finish, with the lux fastened with screws on it, and yet there are no holes or screws on the lux holding the strap. The 18 karat rose gold pullout crown here is measured at 8.5mm. The sandwich design on the case provides a gap between the crown, making it easier to insert your fingernail to pull out the crown. The crown is also handsomely engraved with diamond design notches on the side. The strap used here is a very premium alligator strap. It is well bolstered with black stitching and has a 3 pin buckle in 18 karat rose gold. The dial here is partially skeletonized, enabling one to admire the aesthetic of the movement's components, their arrangement, as well as the surface condition. It is made out of a sandblasted nickel silver treated with black rhodium. The inner bezel ring here is black varnish shaped like an amphitheater, extends vertically to the main plate, displaying the hours and minutes. Pretty smart using the bezel to display the time indicator, giving it more room to showcase the other complications on the dial. The hollow small second subdial at the 6 o'clock is also black varnish. The power reserve indicator at the 2 o'clock position and the name Ferdinand Bertol are all engraved on the nickel silver. The hands on the power reserve, small second hands, and the faceted and skeletonized open tip hour and minute hands are all in 18 karat rose gold. Between those domes of fire crystal with AR coating, sits the FBSPC caliber beautifully showcasing its mechanical with cylindrical balance spring. This is of course hand wound. It has 47 joules, 21,600 VPH, 72 hours of power reserve, 30 meters of water resistance, 16 bridges, hacking seconds function, and it is COSC certified. The balance wheel, pallet lever, and the escape wheel appears at the 9 o'clock. This beating heart can be viewed from the top, bottom, and also from the side. The caliber deserves admiration from all angles. Made out of 230 components, this caliber is hand decorated for more than 100 hours. Naturally, limiting the production of the 3 SPC to a maximum of only 25 pieces a year. This is retailed at 653,620 ringgit. The Konomat FB2RSM.2-1 is an entirely different creature. With a similar watch case design, this hand-finished 18 karat rose gold vessel is measured slightly bigger, 44mm in diameter and 14.3mm tape. The crown has a different design. The dynamometric crown sits on a level extending from the case. The strap here is hand-sewn road edge strap crafted from a single piece of alligator leather. This comes with an 18 karat rose gold pin buckle. The dome arch sapphire crystal with AR coating helps vividly display the open work regulator plate in frosted 18 karat rose gold. The open work sub dial at the 12 o'clock and the step down chapter ring are in sand blasted silver tone brass. The chapter ring displays the second track instead of the hour and minute. Why? That's because the hours are read off via a rotating disc at the 2 o'clock. The minutes are indicated by a faceted and skeletonized hand on the subdial at the 12 o'clock, and the second hands occupy the central position on the watch face. The hands here are all made out of different materials. The hour hand is a gilded steel fixed hour pointer with blue CVD treatment. The faceted and skeletonized dagger shaped minute hand is in 18 karat gold with blue CVD treatment and the gilded central second hand is in titanium with blue CVD treatment. The second hand is also curved and bent at the end. 
The design is inspired by the marine clock number 8 known as the HM8. Fun fact here, the marine clock number 8 owned by King Louis XV was tested at sea for two years. This earned Ferdinand Berthaud his precious royal warrant in 1770. The said watch is now kept in the National Conservatory of Arts and Craft in Paris. And I digress. Nope, this is not quartz, but a deadbeat second mechanism. If you think that the front is gorgeous, wait till you see the back. Underneath the screw-in sapphire crystal is the FBT FC RSM caliber. It is a mechanical hand-wound movement, tourbillon with constant force with a full Z chain transmission. It has 60 joules, 21,600 APH, hacking seconds, 30 meters of water resistant, COSC certified, and it is made out of 1,169 components. The chain you see here is 285mm long. Tuck at the corner here is the 53 hours of power reserve indicator with a blue CVD treated 18 karat gold hand. To achieve the dead beat seconds, this will involve a 3 step process. The caliber will first need to stop the gear train. It will then store the torque it continues to produce during the pause. And lastly, releasing it all at once after 1 second. Imagine doing this 60 times a minute, 3600 times an hour, and 86,400 times a day, and yet maintaining its accuracy and function throughout the years. It's tough. No wonder not many deadbeat seconds movement achieved the COSE certification. Ferdinand Berthaud, however, achieved it. If I'm entirely honest, the back of this watch is far more interesting and gorgeous than its front. This kind of reminds me of my singer reimagined barista watch. If you've missed my unboxing of that watch and my reviews on the other singer reimagined, I'll put the links in the description below. I particularly like the hand engraved cursive writings on the dial. Not because it has the words number 8 engraved therein, that's a given, but because the cursive gives it an opulent and quaint vibe, like it is only meant to be worn on the wrist of the aristocrat. Rightly so, as this timepiece is retailed at 1.2 million ringgit. Only 20 of these movements will be produced. Ferdinand Bertels allows you to choose the different colors and key exterior elements to go along with this movement. There is also a porthole at the side allowing you to view the movement of the chain. Now, about my reference to Marcel Ducamp's erotic artwork. The potholes on the side of these two watches reminds me of Marcel's famous peephole artwork where the art can only be viewed through the holes of an old wooden door. The entire experience feels rather personal, cheeky, and secretive when viewing the movement through the side of the case. Notwithstanding the size of these watches, they are indeed very elegant looking. They are very attractive in a very subtle way. So which of these timepieces fancy your liking? Do let us know in the comments below. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please like, share, subscribe and hit that bell icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.